Oh, um, is there a princess somewhere that needs saving? What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Black Knight. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So in the background, as always, we have the Avengers A, hey, Avengers, Marvel's Black Knight. On this side of the box, we have Black Knight. On the other side of the box, we have Black Knight. On the top, Avengers A, hey, build a figure, call obsidian. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have the rundown of all the figures needed to make Call Obsidian. And right up top, we have Black Knight again, and we have a bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Black Knight. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. It's like pretty nicely done head sculpt. You got some gold there on the helmets. Pretty cool helmet design, in my opinion. I dig it. Looks pretty good. Got a symbol there on his chest, done in red. The sleeves are done in like a uh, like a gunmetal gray. Looks quite quite nice. Got some gold there on the belt buckle. It's gloves with some red trim. And moving out the legs, and you got the nice. Detailing there, it's big old boots. And move to back, you got the cape. The cape is made of that nice rubbery material there, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. It does just uh, peg onto his back right up in there. So you can remove the cape if you want to. Well, yeah. So there you go. And now as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. He can look up a good bit. He can look down. Squirrel can totally do that. Head can do a full 360. As you can see, these uh, the wings on his helmet are that rubber as well, so you don't have to worry about breaking those. Uh, the arms can do a full 360, and they're uh, they're clicky. He's got clicky shoulders. And they can move outward, although this joint is quite, quite stiff on mine. But you can move the arms outward. That's kind of scary tight. You got bicep rotation. You do have a double jointed elbow. But uh, due to the gloves, that's pretty much all the range of movement you're going to get, which is still pretty good. You got wrist rotation, as well as that hinge that allows the hands to move inward and outward. You got... That ab crunch going on, you have waist rotation. Legs can move forward, that far, back, that far, outward, about that far. You do have thigh rotation, which again is also very stiff on mine. You do get a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet, oh, so you also have a, a boot cut there, so you can rotate that, which is a very unnatural place for a leg to turn, but hey, it's there if you want to make use of it. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have the tilted jaw. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his sword here. With the handle done in gold, the blade itself done in black. You can store the sword. There's a little sheath for it right here. Let me just slide that down, have that stored at his side, or he can hold it. Um, the right hand doesn't hold it that well because for some reason they gave him a gun holding hand on this side. That makes no sense, but okay, but you know, he can, he can hold it fairly well. It's a little loose, but you know, he can hold it fairly well. Or you could put it in his left hand, which is definitely uh, more meant for sword holding, so you know, we can make him a lefty. Just because he just holds it better on this side. So you got that going on. And he does also include alternate heads. So you get this head right here, which is uh, a helmet design that he had earlier in the comic books. I think this is his current helmet design, and this is an earlier helmet design. Again, I'm not totally sure. I just did like five seconds of research, and I saw an old comic book cover with this helmet on it. So seems like this is an earlier helmet design, and he's... Grrr, He's got the grr going on. 
And the heads are quite easy to swap, just on a ball joint, just pop off the old, pop on the new, get on there, Boop. there you go. So now you have that look going on, if you want, and you get another alternate head, you get a fully helmeted head sculpt here, again with that nice gold, you got the eagle on top, and the eagle is, you know, rubbery, so again, you don't have to worry about breaking that. Yeah, you can have that head going on as well, so we can pop this off and pop this on. There you go. Now he's a bucket head. He's a bucket head. There you go. The bucket headed knight. So there you have that. Then for comparison, uh, here he is with his wave mates. Here he is with Black Widow and Thor. You stand, woman. There you go. There he is with Black Widow and Thor. Here he is with Ant Man and the Wasp. And here he is with Malekith. So, there you go. So, the last thing to talk about here is the build a figure part, and he includes the last piece of Call Obsidian. He comes with the right leg. So, finally, finally, we can finish up this big boy here. So let's pop his leg on. Get on there! Get on there! And there we go. There we have Cull Obsidian all put together. He has kind of small feet. There we go. We can see just how he stands next to Black Knight there. So yeah, let's move Black Knight out of the way for a bit and just take a look here at Cull Obsidian. He's a big boy. He's a big, big boy. He was a big boy in the movie, so yeah, it makes total sense. Yeah, look at that head sculpt. Really nicely done head sculpt. A lot of nice detail going on here, too. Really nicely detailed, nicely painted. Looks really nice. Love the coloration on it. I just wish that these uh, armor pieces had a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of paintwork done to them. They look a little too plain, but other than that, looks really cool. He's got a big old hammer. Love that. Love that. That looks really good. Really, really good. The detail in the back there. Really, really nice. Looking good, man. Looking good! Uh, now, articulation-wise, let's see. Head is on a ball joint. You get that wiggly waggly. You can rotate. You can look up. You can look down. Good stuff going on there. Arms can rotate. Move in and out. Not, not too much. Just due to the design there on the shoulder. We do have some bicep rotation. Uh, you get... Under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Um, on this wrist, the hammer holding wrist, you have rotation and you also have a joint that allows the hand to move downward, upward and downward. Um, on this side, it is rotation and the inward and outward joint. So you have two different forms of articulation there on either wrist. Um, you know, this other arm can rotate as well, although the shoulder arm will kind of get in the way, but moves as much as you need it to move. Uh, Word, bicep, all that stuff. You do have the upper torso joint there on the ball joint. You get wiggly waggly. He does also have a proper waist joint as well for rotation. Legs, let's see, they can move forward. About that far back, that far outward. That far, thigh rotation. Double jointed knee and upward, downward, and tilted jaw. So let's see how he stacks up to some Avengers here. Here he is with Thor and Black Widow. Here is Ant Man and the Wasp. And here he is with Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight. And big purple. So, there you go. So there you have wave two of Marvel Legends Infinity War. Um, Call Obsidian is really cool. Love the way this figure turned out. Really nicely done. And all of the figures are really nicely done. Whether I have attachment to the character or not, still nicely done figures all around. Just nice, solid action figures. I said that in all of these reviews, but it's true. They are just really well done, solid figures. Just some fun, playable superhero and supervillain toys. So, there you go.
Now, if you would like this or any other Marvel Legends toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Marvel Legends playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also, link in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Marvel Legends, Black Knight, Call Obsidian, and the rest of the gang. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. For victory and valor! Aha! Oh, you are very large. One moment. Aha! Ah! Yep, that didn't work. Aha!